The year was 1896 when ground was broken for the new Capitol on the hill near University Avenue and Wabashaw Street. Just a few blocks away stood the building it would replace, only 13 years old, but already inadequate. The new Capitol would be much more than adequate. It would become a great Minnesota landmark. The winning design came from local architect Cass Gilbert, who later gained international fame as the architect of the Woolworth Tower in New York City. Gilbert described his design as Italian Renaissance in style, in quiet, dignified character, expressing its purpose in its exterior appearance. He based the look of the dome on Michelangelo's design for St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. That decision was a popular one, but another decision caused quite a stir. Gilbert chose a gleaming white marble for the exterior. The problem was the marble would be cut from a quarry in Georgia, not Minnesota. An agreement was finally made to use the Georgia marble on the exterior, while granite, limestone, pipestone, and other native Minnesota stones would decorate the base and interior of the Capitol. Gilbert's plans for the Capitol approach were quite grand, including a library, a soldier's memorial, and a wide boulevard stretching all the way to the Seven Corners intersection. But due to the cost and difficulty of acquiring so much property, the plan was scaled back considerably. While the appearance of the building has not been altered since it opened in 1905, the streets and grounds around the Capitol have evolved over the years. In the 1960s, Interstate 94 cut a wide swath between the Capitol and downtown, shortening the grounds in front. In recent decades, new buildings and memorials have taken their place near the Capitol, but all new development is first evaluated to keep the character and spirit of Cass Gilbert's original vision and preserve it for future generations. Thank you.